I always believe that a portrait of someone, and I do, is actually a self-portrait of myself. You know, when I started at the University of Oregon, you know, I was crazy about track and field. And I started shooting a lot of sports because that's what I love, you know. And sh sh I shot all the track meets, all the football games, some of the football games, some of the basketball games, because I'm still now like, a huge sports fan. So that was fun for me, you know. I didn't want to study. I would just stand in line, you know, wait at the door and get the first seat. Uh, University of Oregon was the place where Nike was invented, you know. And then I slowly started to send my pictures and brought my photographs to Nike. And they, they loved it. So they hired me freelance to photograph all the athletes when they were on the different track circuits. And I would get, um, <laughs> this is funny, for every six slides that they took, that they liked, I would get a pair of shoes. So that was my payment. So one pair of shoes, every six pictures they used. And I mean, for a kid, I mean, you know, like going to school, that was a great deal. With the sports, you see a lot of people, they just ask me like, eh, what do you shoot sports for? You're shooting fashion and actresses, is that better? You know, for me, maybe that was the preparation for me. Because in sports, when the guy finishes at 100 meters and he hits the tape, you know, you got one crack at it. So sports actually helped me make sure that I captured the moment with only one chance. When you look at a photograph I've done, all my values are placed upon that photo. These are my values, how I grew up, work hard, timeless, uh, no special effects, handmade. These are the values I carry myself. And this is what I impose on my portraits and how I see beauty. Before I do a photograph, I do the research. And that to me is a, the whole foundation of everything. You know, before I shoot you, I want to know about you. How can I depict you or represent you on paper, visually, if I have, I have got no information about you? When I'm there, I'm not shooting the physicality of the person. Like, oh, cute girl, pretty, makeup, hair, nice dress. I want more than that. I, I want the core of the person, the personality, what you stand for, what you like, what you don't like, you know. Get into what you are and who you are. So you can only do that with research. So I go read all the books, watch all the movies. If you're a singer, I go listen to all your songs hear gossip from people, look at the net, do as much research to form this impression of you and then take the pieces I think are important. That what represents you and makes you unique. Then again, I realise also that it's not just your work, you know. They got to get along with you, you got to be nice, they want to be hanging out with you. The, the actor or actress can feel it when you're shooting them, whether you are on their side. And I always want to be on the side of the talent, of the actor, of the actress. Because only then, they kind of feel protected and I'm, I have their interests at large. So these are the intangibles that, that people don't see. You know, I mean, work is work, good work. There's a lot of people can shoot well. But you know, but would they want to hang out with you for four hours in the studio? That's the question. My parents and my dad always told me that the stuff that's timeless that will last forever and you want anything you do to be that way. So that always stuck in my head. You know, it was always you know, put in the hard work and um, create any art or anything you do and make it timeless and not just a fad or something fashionable because that stuff lasts for three months. So I don't want my art and my work and my images to feel that way. So with that comes just basic stuff, you know, like treat people good, respect them, um, you know, the simple stuff that I guess sometimes people forget. I mean, the, one of the, uh, the, the big ones, and, and of course, that sticks in my mind is uh, the time cover I did with Jackie Chan. So I had the idea to go shoot it on Jackie sitting in the middle of the street with cars coming by in Kowloon. So that was my shot. You know, for what I do, it's collaboration. If he doesn't perform, he doesn't want to help me to make this image work, I can't 
I can't produce it. So it's not just all about me and my concept. You know, it, it really helps a lot. It really makes the shoot great that both of you are working towards the image. And for me, it's always been about that. It's never been about me, 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 or even celebrity. It's like, what's, what does the image dictate you to do? So that's how I always approached it. You know, and, and like I say, it's like a dance. You need two people to dance. It's a collaboration. It's non-verbal, maybe. You know exactly where to come in and, 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 and you know, like act a certain way to get the image. I know, like, when I can direct him, you know. So it's kind of, you ping-pong it around and, and, and this amazing chemistry you have, I mean, that's what creates amazing images. I see beauty in a very conventional way, not in a quirky way. And, and I, 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 I respect women, I love women, just an object. So when I shoot it, you know, it comes across that way. But this, this is like my values and, and my value system and how I was, I was brought up. Russell has this talent um, that he makes people feel very comfortable. Yeah, we don't see each other for a long time, but when we do meet each other, it's like, oh, not a day has passed since we last saw each other. So there is a level of, of comfort. Um, you know, we're of, of the same generation. He's just someone that's, that's very easy to be friends with. There, there is never a moment that you feel uncomfortable. He just makes everybody really comfortable. and. Uh, I think it's his genuine um, um, enthusiasm and uh, appetite for life um, that's sort of infectious and you want to be around him. To me, I really enjoy the interaction and the process, you know, so that part of me is more important. Like I tell a lot of my friends, I mean, in the film business, I look, you know, we just hang out, if we don't shoot, I'm happy, you know, like, I, we don't need to shoot. Yeah, I'm a photographer, and eventually maybe we might shoot my work together. So I'm not like, oh, I'm gonna get a picture, get a picture, get a picture. I'm not like that, you know. So I can just hang out with someone and have coffee. You can ask my friends. I just like having, hanging out and chatting and listening to music. I mean, so that part of it is important, you know, for me. That I treasure more, actually, and the friendship I treasure more. The great people I met over the years in the shop, I treasure more than actually the physical picture we have, you know, to show for it. So now I'm at, uh, you know, at a point and I have the opportunity to be with these people and shoot with these people. I'm not taking it for granted. I'm going to shoot as much as I can and create as much work as I can. So there is a body of work to leave behind that when people refer to these people, they, they, they at least get a different take on them, you know, more personal take. This is what I would love, you know, for, for what my work to do and just, and like, you know, at this point in time with all these characters around, he was there to capture all of it. I mean, this is how I see it.